Bep. Sana si Comsec Bep. Comsec Bep, andyan ka? Baka may hearing pa rin siya sa iba. Oo nga, ang gulo na. <laughs> Grabe, ano ba ito? Magsariling sikap na lang tayo rito. Bep. Sige, tawagan ko muna ha. Grabe, bakit tayo ganito katinde, no? Parang walang bukas, ha? Sabay-sabay ang kumitihin. Oo oh, nga, ha? grabe. Ano? and convene the first organizational meeting of the Senate Committee on Social Justice, Welfare, Rural Development, jointly with finance. Um, and um, we recognize the presence of our minority leader, Coco Pimentel, in addition to our uh, uh, colleague and uh, Senate uh, um, uh, friend and uh, associate always, our uh, good uh, and patient Senator Revilla who's been waiting since kanina pa. Kaya ta, eto, uh, kung nais ng ating mga Senador magsalita ng kaunti, ang topic po natin sa umaga ito, maliban sa organizational, eh, yung monthly social pension para sa indigent persons with disability. If you will note, there have been three Senate bills filed, Senator Lapid, Senator Revilla, and Senator Ontiveros, providing a social pension for those with uh, disabilities. And uh, they differ, of course, in having uh, different uh, uh, time frames, amounts, and definitions. So those are the things that we'd like to discuss this morning. And I invite our senators uh, to make an opening statement if they so desire. So minority leader, kung meron kayong uh, sasabihin. Wala, wala na po, madam. Oh, makinig, makikinig rin lang ako. Senator Revilla bilang uh, author. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, good morning, my uh, dear colleagues and my fellow public servants who are uh, here with us this morning. And firstly, allow me to uh, express my uh, sincerest gratitude to the chairperson of, uh, of our committee, none other than yung napakasipag talagang hindi nagpapahinga, Senator Aimee Marcos, for including in the agenda our every first, our very first committee uh, meeting, one of the priority bills I filed in order to further promote social justice for our dear Filipinos. In the interim, allow me to deliver my uh, maiden opening statement on this committee uh, for this Congress. Sa lagpas na dalawang uh, taon na, na, na nagdaan kung saan lahat tayo ay patuloy na, na nagdurusa sa pandemya. Kitang-kita naman po natin kung sino talaga ang may pinaka-apektado. Hindi lamang ng sakit, kung hindi ang kaakibat din ito, itong epekto sa pamumuhay at hanap buhay ng ordinaryong mamamayan. 
And so this 19th Congress, I vow to champion social justice for all Filipinos with special attention to the plight of, of the marginalized people in our society. I pledge uh, to fight for the welfare of the last, the least, and the lost. Ngayong umaga, nagpapasalamat ako na magsisimula na ang daan upang uh, mapaganda ang pamumuhay ng isa sa mga kasapi natin na uh, kasapi ng ating lipunan na, uh, na may mga espesyal na pangangailangan bunsod sa kanilang mga uh, kapansanan. Ito yung tinatawag nating mga persons with uh, disabilities o PWDs. Uh, I filed Senate Bill Number no. 501 or the Disability Support Fund Act sa pamamagitan ng Disability Support Fund. Mabibigyan, mabibigyan, mabibigyan natin ng uh, mas malawak na tulong ang mga PWDs para sa kanilang mga personal na pangangailangan kagaya ng rehabilitation, habilitation, assistive devices and technology at uh, disability support uh, services. I hope that uh, with the bills that we will uh, tackle today focusing on the welfare of our PWDs we will be able to shape a better, safer, and more uh, inclusive future for all of them. Na way magkaroon tayo ng produktibo at uh, mabisang uh, talakayan na uh, sisiguraduhin matatamasa ng lahat ng ating mga PWDs ang katarungang panlipunan. Maraming salamat po, Madam Chair. Yes, maraming salamat at sangayon tayong lahat dyan sa pakay ni Senator Revilla na matulungan ng ating mga PWD. Uh, karangalan din natin sa umagang ito na makasama isa pang author natin, si Senator Lapid. Uh, Senator Lapid, nais ba ninyo magbigay ng uh, pambungad na pananalita o sponsorship speech kaya? Ah, magandang umaga, Miss Beautiful. Ikaw <laughs> talaga? <laughs> Ayun nga po, uh, sinusugan ko rin ang uh, Senate Bill ni uh, Senator uh, Bong Revilla. Ito pong sa akin na Senate Bill uh, number 31, uh, PWD, it's a monthly social pension ng indigenous per person. At uh, yun nga po, uh, kaya kailangan po natin ng monthly pension nila. Uh, malaki makakatulong sa kanila at alam naman po natin kung ano ang kalagayan nila. Yun po siguro may makikinig muna ako sa ating mga pa Kasama ang mga senador, magandang umaga sa inyo at ang mga resource person natin. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Maraming salamat, Senator Lapid. Pero sana tul magtulungan tayo maghanap ng pera sa panahong ito. <laughs> lahat tayo sang ayon dyan. Kasi hindi ko rin maintindihan kung bakit nakaligtaan na isama ang ating PWD. Samantalang alam natin yung kalagayan nila ay talagang uh, kalunos-lunos. And uh, Senator Robin Hood Padilla, hindi po tayo author pareho. Pero I'm sure talaga naman na uh, sang ayon tayo sa pakay ng ating mga senador na author dito. Senator Padilla, any opening statement po? Um, mahal na taga-Pangulo, ako po ay sumusuporta sa mga panukala ng ating mga kapatid sa Senado at sa industriya. Ako po yung makikinig lamang po. Maraming salamat po. Oo, pareho tayo. So, uh, kumbidayin na natin ang ating mga resource persons. Um, Secretary Beth, sino-sino uh, ang ating uh, kikilalanin sa umagang ito? Good morning, Senators. Uh, for today's organizational meeting and public hearing of the Committee on Social Justice, Welfare, and Rural Development, we would like to request all of our guests to open up your video so that the Senators can see you. Thank you. Today, we would like to welcome the representatives from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, headed by ASEC Irene Dumlao, ASEC Janet, Janet Armas, Mr. Garrett Mauro C. Paris, the Planning Officer and of the Department Legislative Liaison Office, Ms. Arian Jones. Lima yung, lima yung uh, kung wala si Secretary Tulfo, di ba lima naman yung USEC sa DSWD? Opo, pero hindi po yung USEC yung pinadala nila, yung ASEC po, Senator. 
Okay, pakisabi na lang, uh, sana may representation yung Office of the Secretary at yung USEC para mapag yung iba't ibang bagay dito. Anyway, please proceed. Miss Jonna May L. Ortega, the Social Welfare Officer 3 uh, for Program Management Bureau. Miss Arian Jo R. Valderrama, Social Welfare Officer 2. Uh, for the Department of Finance, they are represented by OIC Director 3, Jean Ginto of the Policy Research and Liaison Office. For the Department of Budget and Management, they are represented by Director Perpetua Judea P. Kiason and Ms. Jane V. Abelia, Assistant Director. The Chief of the Budget Management Specialist, Ms. Rowena Marte. And the Senior Budget and Management Specialist, Mr. Fernando Dayo Jr. We also have Ben Gillette Suniga and Elizabeth Bernal. For the National Economic Development Authority, they are represented by Assistant Director Edgardo Aran Aranjuez, the Senior Development Staff, and Mr. John Antonio Geronimo, Senior Economic Development Specialist. From the National Council on Disability Affairs, we are represented by Mr. Honiro. They are represented by Mr. Honiro Fradejas, the Executive De Director. Mr. Mateo A. Uh, I'm Jr. sorry. Kung pwede lang, itaas lang ninyo yung mga kamay ninyo kasi first time ko kayo ma-meeting. Yes, what is the name of the NCDA, please? Again. Wala, uh, kasing, pangala Wala kasing pangalan sa kanyang screen. Yes, NCDA please. Mr. Honiro Fradejas, the Executive Director. Mr. Mateo A. Lee Jr. What's his uh, title please? The Deputy Executive Director. Okay. Mr. Randy Calcena. There. And Attorney Rialet Crizel, all from uh, the NCDA. From the Regional Association of Women with Disabilities, they are represented by Ms. Jennifer V. Garcia, the placement worker, DSWD Area 1 Vocational Rehabilitation Center. That's all, Senator. So that's the women's uh, organization of PWD, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. Kung okay lang sa ating mga sponsor, wala rito USEC, wala rito ng uh, secretary, pero ipagpatuloy na lamang natin para uh, mapag-usapan. Um, Iba-iba po yung ating bill, ano? yung 31 and 592 monthly social pension of 2,000 pesos. At uh, yung sa 592 naman, disability support allowance, and uh, will be implemented in three phases muna. And ang uh, lahat ay umaasa na may database or uh, verified and certified listing ng DSWD at NCDA. I would like to inquire, does such a list in, um, actually exist? Uh, because uh, a database always seems to be our weakness in providing PWD identification cards as it has been our problem with even the national ID cards. Would anyone like to uh, respond from uh, disability uh, section in DSWD or the NCDA? Meron ba tayong kompletong listahan ng mga Pilipino may kapansanan sa ating bansa? Yes, would somebody from NCDA like to ask, answer? Meron ba listahan o wala? At saka DSWD, meron ba listahan to? Good morning, Madam Chair. Yes. Yes or no lang to? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Madam Chair. Meron po. Uh, kompleto ba yan? Kasi ang, uh, ang uh, sinasabi na estimate, nasa 12% ang PWD sa Pilipinas. Ngayon, um, Meron ba kayong 12% ng 110 million na Pilipino? Uh, Madam Chair, we, we, are, we are in the process po of uh, completing the data. So, ilan ang nasa listahan ninyo sa ngayon? 
so 2022 po uh, 40 uh, dia 2022 po uh, nasa ano pa po kami nasa almost 75% something like that po kasi po uh, wait how many names do you have in your list never mind the percent kasi hindi ko alam yung bilang asan uh, yung list sa listahan niyo ilan ang uh, pangalan na nakalista na well, allow me allow me madam chair to ask uh, Uh, my colleague book na may house. So, sige, number. kung sinong may alam, DSWD or NCDA, ilang Pilipino na kasi may kapansanan, certified and verified? Opo. Um, yes, Madam Chair, we have about 670,000 uh, people. Can you identify people. yourself? I am not so... Ah, NCDA, hindi ko kasi makita yung pangalan eh. Uh, pwedeng uh, introduce yung nang sa dito. NCDA, Rialette Crisel Ramos po, Senator. Uh, okay. Sige, opo. Senator, as of now, we have about 670,000 registered in the PRPWD, that's the national database handled by the DOH pertaining to persons with disability. It's care of the DOH, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, but they're only that's receiving a very, very the meager. That's a very small number, 670 lang. Alam naman natin na higit pa. Diyan ang ating uh, uh, mekapansanan at yung sinasabing 71%, malayo yata yan kung 670 lang. Wala yan sa 71%. Um, yes. Uh, Kursel, Madam Chair. Sino yon Director Matt, uh, Deputy Executive Director po ng National Council on Disability Are Affairs. Are you on the screen, Director? Sorry po, hindi ko kayo makita. Uh, are, you on, are you on video? <laughs> Uh, Madam Senator, I'm just using a cell phone, so pardon me, uh, uh, but yeah. I can open my video later on. In any case, you wanted to add something? Uh, Madam Chair, can, can I respond to the question? Yes, uh, that's what I'm asking you. Yes, please. Okay. R right now, at, under the PSA statistics, we have 1,442,000. Yes, it's okay. your NCDA or PSA? NCDA, my, Ms. Madam Chair. Uh, National Council on Disability yes. Affairs. I'm the Deputy Executive Director. Okay. Um, okay, so under the statistics, we have that number. But uh, the ID issued based on the DOH registry is under 670,000. This is a small number, Madam Chair. Because we are intending... No, I don't understand. So, uh, we already established that the DOH has certified 670,000. What are you adding? Um, I'm adding, ma 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 Madam Chair, that we are developing the database. Yes, uh, I understand that. Everybody is in the process of developing a database. Pero sa madaling sabi, wala pa. Wala pa, Madam Chair. Wala okay, pang thank you. Tong, uh, num numero. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I think that's all we were asking, the SWD. Uh, meron ba kayong listahan ng ating PWD? Anybody from the SWD, please? Marami pong ASEC, maraming officer. Meron ba kayong listahan ng uh, may kapansanan na Pilipino? Madam Chair, Uh, yes, Janet Armas of the SWD. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, we share the same uh, number, the database with the uh, NCDA because this is the list certified by DOH, Madam Chair. So perhaps, uh, com Committee Secretary, we can uh, also send uh, uh, a query to DOH. They're not represented this morning. Kung talagang ilan ang nasa listahan nila para malaman naman natin. Kasi 670 lang ang dandon sa DOH. Ano ba yung proseso ng pagre-rehistro at pag-verify niya? At uh, mukhang kulang na kulang naman ang nakalista sa kanila. Yes, Ms. Ramos, please. Um, Madam Chair, I'll allow me to explain. The data with the DOH, it's just um, the data submitted to them by the local government units because under oh, the current so system... From DOH, LGU pa? Yes, ma'am. Because um, the persons with disabilities, they apply for the PWD ID card through the local government unit. So um, uh, the, the estimates of the PSA... 
uh, is closer perhaps to the records based on the different local government units because it's it so what's in the, the, the what is the list? Okay, you're referring to another list with the LGUs or so ilan ang nasa LGU? Iba pa yon kesa sa 670 or you uh, know Yes, ma'am, but then it will differ. Yes, yes, madam chair. Because on one hand, country. you're saying that the DOH merely derives numbers from the LGU upon application for the PW card. On the other hand, you are saying that the better number is the number consolidated by the LGU. Dalawa bang numero yon o makaisa? Um, different, Madam Chair, but allow me to um, expound on that. So the reason why there would be more from each um, local government unit is because the persons with disability apply to them. Now, the discrepancy is due to the fact that the uploading of data to the PRPWD, the national database, is not real-time as of the moment. So that's what we are trying yes, to address. Right, it's real-time. Real -time. Yes, Ms. Ramos, ang tagal-tagal kong gobernador, kabisado ko yan, yung... Uh nag apply sa amin ng PWD card, hindi naman na uh, problematic yan. Ang sinasabi ko, wala naman requisito, walang requirement yung ating mga LGU na mag-upload eh. Diba? May requirement? Required ba sila mag-report sa DOH? Uh, under, uh, yes ma'am, as of now, yes. Wala bang central database yung PWD card? Parang wala eh, kasi kanya-kanyang kabig yan eh. Yes, ma'am. For the PW and the ID card, it's um, dependent on each local government unit. And so, then is there a central consolidating body na magsasubmit lahat ng LGU? Because I don't recall one. But yung um, DOH, it's, hindi naman required na mag-report. Um, the central consolidating body, uh, well, they are required to submit it, to upload it to the PRPWD, which is handled what's, by... I'm the, sorry, what's the PRPWD? Um, Madam Chair, it's the Philippine Registry for Persons with Disability. This is the national yes, database. Yes, that Philippine Registry is managed by whom? By DOH. DOH, NCDA, or DSWD? By DOH, ma'am, but we have a mirror copy of their database, so, which is why we see the numbers. So, ang sinasabi mo, hindi lahat ng LGU ang nag upload dyan sa DOH na Philippine Registry niya? Well, they should be uploading, but right now, like the data is not current when it comes to the uploading. The, there are some days in the uploading. Sino may kasalanan? Sino may kasalanan? DOH or LGU? Um, well, DOH is... Kasi yung DOH laging bagsak ang website sa atin atin lang. DOH laging bagsak din ang website eh. So, sino sinisisi natin? Sino may kasalanan yan dyan sa kakulangan ng datos tungkol sa may kapansanan? Yung LGU nang hindi nag a upload yung DOH na hindi nag a update Hindi naman kailangan live streaming yan. Eh. Wala namang palabas eh. Um, Ma'am, I suppose I would defer to um, the heads of our agency to respond to that. Yes, the head of the agency is welcome. Yes. Uh, sa palagay ninyo, I'm not, uh, I'm not um, apportioning blame here. Simply to find out uh, who has the responsibility of uploading uh, this information. Yes, uh, Executive Director Trad. Yes, yes, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, uh, the the LGU po is uh, try its best uh, to upload the data to the PIPWD po. But, uh, but do you mean uh, trying uh, its best? Uh, sa ngayon po kasi ma'am, yung mga LGUs po is, uh, is telling us po, uh, even in our frequent meetings, oh. uh, they are uploading. Kaya po ang problem po na sa po signal. Signal, signal po is one of the problems, especially po sa ah. mga remote areas. Signal po na hindi po na nila ma-i-upload po. Dahil po eh bakit hindi nila lang nila ipadala ng sulat? O ipadala ng fax? O ano man? Uh, Opo ma'am. Ma bali po sa kayong pa. Hindi ko maintindihan. Bakit, bakit ganito lang kakulang? Parang parang kawawa na nga. May kapansanan na. Pakatapos hindi man lang kinilala. Ano ba naman to? Wala na tayong pake doon sa listahan. 
Ang second point namin na nakita ng mga na challenge uh, for uploading is that uh, may mga LGS po na kulang po sa computers. So, ang action po na ginawa namin is we are now uh, distributing computers, computers po sa mga LGS dahil uh, they are telling us na... Parang hindi ako maniwala doon ha, Executive Director ha, nangungulekta lahat ng LGU ng tax. Kung kaya nila makulekta ng buwis, kaya nila maglista ng may kapansanan. Yes ma'am, but uh, yun po ang lumalabas po sa kanilang mga, sa kanilang mga request po sa amin and their reports po. Na they are asking po for computers para may upload po properly po yung, uh, yung mga data. Parang nakakatawa naman po yan. Unang-una, ewan ko sa ating mga senador, nandito si Senator Padilla, nandito si Senator uh, Revilla. Alam naman natin na napakaraming peking PWD card. Sobrang rampant. Halos lahat ng kilala kong baguets. Kung gustong gumimik, kukuha ng PWD card para kung saan-saan na pupwesto. Uh, So, considering na kulang to, uh, napakaliit ng number na narito, eh, sasabihin pa natin may percentage pa nito, may porsyento pa nitong peke, di ba? Yes, Madam Chair, that's also part of the challenge po. Yung uh, sorting out po yung totoong yung, yung PWDs. So, sino nagsusort out uh, kayo? Madam Chair. Opo, sino yun? Director Matt, uh, Madam Chair from NCDA, the Deputy of uh, Executive Director. Okay. Nalilito ako kasi may Randy Dalsena, may Mateo Lee. Okay, sige. Yes, please. Um, Madam Chair, we would like to reiterate that we are still developing the data. At this point, you are correct, Madam Chair, that we don't have yet the data. But if the bill will be passed, uh, you're obligating NCDA to de develop the data system. And, uh, so hanggang wala kayong obligasyon, wala kayong interes, hanapin ng ating may kapansanan, kahit yon ang charter po ninyo. Hindi, hanggang it will, it will, no, no, kayo at maobliga ng batas, hindi ninyo gagampanan ang hindi, trabaho po, ninyo dapat. Hindi Parang po, hindi yata magandang pakinggan yon. Hindi, tama po kayo. Hindi po naman ganun yung ibig sabihin nun. I-strengthen po yung mandate ni NCDA kasi po ang data collection po nakaano na nakalagay po sa ibang ahensya, hindi po diretso sa NCDA. So, ang function po namin okay, so, is coordination. So, pakiwari ninyo, okay, Deputy Director, uh, sa, sa palagay ninyo, sino ang uh, may responsibilidad maglista ng ating mga PWD? Sabi mo, hindi naman mandato ng NCDA yan. So, can you enlighten us who exactly is supposed to be responsible? Okay, Madam Chair, the... the The CBMIS, uh, the Republic Act on the Community-Based Information System, mandates the PSA and the local government units to collect data. And, uh, and uh, hey, Pero hindi listahan yung PSA, ano? Yung sa PSA, statistics yan eh. Wala mga pangalang address at iba pa. Correct, Madam Chair. But the, the local government units is mandated to collect the data of their constituency to include persons with disability. And therefore, do sa mga program, like for example po, sa Pantawid Pamilya Program ng DSWD, may household po na person with disability na ang nakalagay din po ang local government units through the social welfare offices ang nagkukolekta ng data ng mga Pantawid Program uh, beneficiaries. Yes, I'm, so aware, part, I'm aware so, of that. Pero that's strictly under four piece. Can't you just... Opo, extract, pero may person with this... Can't you extract? Hindi ba pwede i-extract sa DSWD four piece listing yan? Eh, nandun naman, pwede. kamarka naman na may PWD sa pamilya eh. Correct. Ma -ma -ma extract po natin doon sa four piece kasi meron doon pong household with disability. So, kaya po mag-extract yun. Uh, ngayon, kung mamamandate din sa amin sa, DS, sa NCDA, isusun tulong po namin na ang database system ay talagang mapag-usapan na sa NCDA para po ang profile ay mamamanage and administer by NCDA. Sa so ngayon po, nakakalat yung database. Iba-ibang government agencies po, based on the program, meron silang data of person with disability. Ang DOH po may data.
Sinasabi mo PSA and LGU. Pero yes, ang actual uh, na nangyayari, sabi ni Ms. Ramos at uh, ng iyong executive director, eh yung DOH naman. Pagkarami-rami naman yata ng uh, pinuturo natin. Ma Madam Chair, ganito po yun. Yung sa DOH, in so far as health services is concerned, at issuance ng ID. Ang so issuance... in other words, ang lista ng may kapansanan sa atin, eh watak-watak. Correct, Madam Chair. Yung mga recipient ng 4P, nakalista sa DSW. DSWD. So Correct. So they receive ng health services na kay DOH. Tama, Madam so, Chair. So humihingi ng PWID kasi peke o hindi peke, eh nasa iba't ibang LGU. LGU. Correct. O, ngayon, po ano ngayon ang papel ng NCDA? Hindi, dapa, hindi ba dapat na ikumpuni ninyo lahat ng listahan na yan? Tama, Madam Chair. At yan po yung ang nagiging difficulty namin dahil sa wala kaming mandate, ang aming policy program monitoring, eh nakikipag-coordinate lang kami sa mga appropriate agencies. Eh hindi ba, part, hindi ba basic part ng coordination, eh di ibuon ninyo yung listahan, unang-unang trabaho yun kasi hindi mo alam kung sinong uh, PWD na service sa uh, constituency mo. Correct. Correct. Pero ang eh, pwede po mangyari... Kapag mo sinasabi na wala kang mandate, eh doon sa coordinate, i-coordinate mo rin pati listahan. Pero ma'am, yung, yung data privacy, isa pa yun sa nagiging problema ng mga... Agencies. Teka, teka, teka. Nalito na ako. Huwag na muna tayo pupunta sa cyber security and data privacy. Ang tinatanong ko napakasimple, bakit hindi ninyo binubuo yung listahan, yung part ng DOH, yung part ng DSWD, at saka kulitin yung mga iba't ibang LGU at kung ano ma-extract sa PSA din. Hindi ninyo ginagawa kasi wala sa mandato ninyo, pero may coordinate, di ba? Lahat ng PWD affairs under you. Tama, tama Madam Chair. Nasimula na po namin yan. Halimbawa po, sa sa registry po, nagmi-mirror na po kami ng ano ng data nila. Nakapasok na po yung NCDA as a mirroring uh, server para makuha namin in real time yung data ni DOH at yun ay babato namin sa PhilHealth dahil yun yung coverage ng PhilHealth. Number two, sa hey, Bakit kayo nakikialam sa PhilHealth? Huwag na kayo makialam sa PhilHealth. Kaya mo na yung DOH doon. Ba't naman makikialam pa kayo sa PhilHealth? Kasi ma'am, yung registry po ng DOH, ang IRR po ng, ano, ng uh, maliban po sa 11223, ay Universal Healthcare Program, ma'am, meron kasi exclusive package for person with disability under RA 11228. Yes, Ngayon, we're aware of that. Kami nagpasa niyan. Ang tinatanong tama. ko, bakit kayo nang hihimasok sa affairs ng health services? Ang tinatanong ko lang listahan. Kasama po kami doon sa pagmamonitor ng listahan na binabato ni DOH. At pa, paano nga ninyo i-monitor? Wala kayong basic database. Ah, Ma'am, yung, yung, yung aming mirroring with DOH, isa po yun sa kami po yung nag-check at nagbabalidate ng data na na pwedeng may duplication po doon sa DOH registry. So ang NCDA po ang nagbabalidate ng ibang lista doon kung kung iba doon na dodoble o hindi. Pangalawa ma'am, kinoko-coordinate na rin po namin na maisama sa ID system, national ID system, kasi kasama naman dyan yung person with disability, na makonsolidate po namin. Kasi yes. isa yun sa problema. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I would like to inform Senator uh, Revilla na go-object ng NCDA sa tatlong bill. Right? So, oo, nag-object bong kasi ang sabi nila, useless daw magbigay pa ng 2,000 o anumang pensyon pagka tumatanggap na yung PWD sa gobyerno. ano tinatanggap sa gobyerno? Hindi nga malista, hindi nga kinikilala pa paano pang uh, tumatanggap na. Yun ang position paper submitted by NCDA. Can somebody explain? You are not supporting the bills because it's useless. They're already receiving support from the government. That's what I read. Director, direct, Director uh, Junero, can you explain yes, our position? Yes. Opo, uh, Madam Chair, with your indulgence po, 
Ah, uh, ako mo sa Ay, on sino yo? Pwede kang mag-video uh, kasi mahirap ka usap pang screen eh. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes, Executive Director, please. Yes, uh, Madam Chair, uh di ko sino po of NCDA on Senate Bill number 501 also by sponsored by Heather. Uh, well, tatlong bill yan. Um Tatlong bill yan, they're all uh, invoking the same principle that we should take extra care and provide social protection for our uh, PWDs. And uh, your position is that you oppose this effort. Uh, Madam, Madam Chair, I uh, would like po to, to make po some uh, clarification. Po. In fact, po, uh, uh, in CDA is uh, uh, requesting po for consolidation of the three bills and to make the... No, uh, trabaho namin yun. Trabaho namin yun. Iaalay namin yan at uh, ikaw consolidate. Ang gusto ko lang uh, uh, intindihan, uh, bakit kayo nag-o-oppose? Ma'am, uh, in fact po, we are not po opposing po. Uh, we are just making po some comments on the provisions po doon sa bill. But we are not saying po outright that we are opposing po the bill itself. Po. No, the sentence is very clear. There is no point providing a pension, whether 2,000 monthly or otherwise, because they are already supported by the government. What do you mean by they are already supported by the government? Uh, um, I'm sorry, Madam Chair. Uh, probably it was prepared by uh, before I came in as a... Uh, the director. In fact, uh, I have said to my people that uh, NCDA must uh, support, particularly uh, Senate Bill Number Five Hundred One, to be the main bill to incorporate all other bills because it is more comprehensive, it is more inclusive, it is more responsive in terms of Okay, so, so uh, you are saying that. Your position paper is not your position? Uh, in, in fact, uh, we, we have made po some uh, clarifications. Po yeah, kasi meron pa dito na, na hindi rin tama uh, dahil labag sa UN Convention on the Rights of the Persons na deinstitutionalization policy na yung social pension dapat ibigay sa inyo Imbes na sa mga may kapansanan. Tama ba yun? Madam Chair, Madam Chair uh, it is not our, our, our stand po. It is not our stand. Uh, our stand po is... Uh, uh, committee Secretary was... Uh, I, I'm sorry ah. Uh, uh, committee Secretary, uh, uh, a position paper was submitted by NCDA. Is that correct? Beth? Beth, you're muted. Comsec po. I yes po, Senator. Uh, eh, eh. They submitted to me their position papers. Okay, lang, and, kailan na i-submit? Eh, Sino nakapirma dun sa position paper? Wala kasi yung original copy sa akin, pasensya. Wala ako sa office eh. Sino po mirma? Uh, senator, si ano po? Dali, dali. Si Mr. Juniro pra, Pradejas po. Ma'am, ma Mr. Mr. Juniro so, Pradejas, the oh, executive, oh, director. executive director. Pradejas, ito yung position na sinabmit mo at pinirmahan mo at uh, sinabmit sa committee. Okay lang naman mag-oppose ng bill, kaya lang nalito na ako sa position ng NCDA. Ma'am, uh, in, in fact, ma'am, ma uh, we have forwarded po uh, our position po just, just the, other day, uh, the other day to Congress po. Uh, in fact, uh, if I, if the Honorable Chair will allow me to read our position to the uh, proposal. No, I'm just asking, are you opposed or are you supporting these bills? These we are supporting po 100% the bill po. Uh, and how come you're supporting it? And bakit yung supposition paper iba naman? Madam Chair. Yes, so I think Executive Director, uh, if you would like to withdraw your previous position paper, uh, will, uh, of course, welcome a new position paper. But uh, ipaliwanag po ninyo kasi nalilito ako eh. Okay lang naman mag-oppose sa bill para magkaintindihan tayo, pero dapat maliwanag. Senator Villa, anong... Uh, yes, Saan siya nag-oppose? Ano, which bill are you opposing, uh, Director Hanayro? 
Uh, is it the Bible uh, one? Senator Rebilla. So if you may allow me po, uh, I am asking my my one of my colleagues po sa, sa CTA to uh, say something about uh, what happened po. Okay. Sir Andy, if you have permission po of the Honorable Chair. Okay. Who's, yeah. going to, who's going to answer that? Um, then nakataas ang kamay ng taga CDA, Randy, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your last name. Randy, Randy, Calcena. Randy Calcena po, Regional Program Coordinator po. Okay. Ma Madam Chair, uh, I would like to, to clarify lang po. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, we already submitted two position papers po. Uh -huh. The first one was signed by uh, Director Mateo Lee Jr., who was our former OIC. And then the other one, was signed by uh, Executive Director uh, Joniro Fradejas. We both, uh, in both uh, position papers, we support all the bills. As regards po doon sa first na sinabi niyo po na the 2,000 pension will not be necessary. This is in relation po to the definition po. Wait, teka, teka lang. Teka lang. Teka lang. Bakit may dalawang position paper? Yes, po. the first one po is for bakit SB 1031. Bakit? Tinanong ko lang bakit. Gusto ko lang malaman bakit. Uh, Madam Chair. Top Chair, Chair, no? Randy? Yes, po. Sige, boss. Hindi, bakit dalawang pabilyon? Di ba dapat isa lang? Isa lang ang bossing sa bawat ahensya, di ba? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Apa, Madam Chair, the first one, the first invitation po kasi is uh, for SBN 31 lang po. That's why ah, we will okay, respond okay. to the request for the position paper. And then the second uh -huh. invitation po included po yung 592 and 501. That's why we again submitted uh -huh. the position ah, okay, paper. Okay, okay. Yes, things. that's a perfect, Kaya okay, that's a perfectly type. justified explanation. Thank you. Kasi tatlo yung pumasok eh, sumunod yung dalwa. Okay, sige. And uh, yes, what are you saying? Ma, 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 Sabi mo, both supported. Mali yung pagkaintindi namin na hindi supported. Tama ba? Yes, po, yes. Madam Chair. Opo, we both yes, support yung lahat po ng bills po na yun, uh, denial po. Support po namin yun. And in relation po dun sa 2,000 pension at not necessarily, we are referring po dun sa definition ng persons with disabilities. Dun sa so, iba pang issue yun. Ang included lang po is the just Iba pang issue way. yun. Let's just stay with support or not support about the 2,000. Randy. Randy, yeah, nakilito ako sa... Hello. Yeah. I just... Never mind the definitions. Tsaka na yung problema yan. Kasi wala naman listahan. Madam, ma Madam Chair. Sino yun? Director Matt. Can you allow me to finish? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, Madam Chair. Yes. And you said that they are... I, I'm still trying to get to the bottom of your position paper, but uh, it seems you're as confused by your position as I am. Uh, the simple question is, um, you are claiming that PWDs are already supported by the government and that there is no point in providing the 2000 pension. Is that correct? Uh, Madam Chair, may I answer that? Okay. Uh, we support uh, the bills on the first issue of uh, Senator Lapid, SBN 31. That is under my OIC leadership. We support that. And eventually, you send another bill, 592 and 501. Yes, they, uh, all, they all encompass the same subject. Yes, we support that also, Madam Chair. Uh, it's just that in the explanation, we do some ad, uh, we, we just commented to improve the bills. Oh, that is our answer to that, Madam Chair. Oh, I see. I didn't understand it that way. In any case, you also put a comment that uh, such support is contrary to the UN for deinstitutionalization. Na meron sa UN Convention on the Rights of Persons that the social pension should be given to the institution of NCDA and not to put them in an institution. Ano ibig sabihin yun? By institution you mean hindi sila ilalagay sa hindi ko ma maintindihan so, masyado. Let, so, let me clarify that Madam Chair. I think uh, it's if, just badly written <laughs> or yes, at least yes, I'm badly reading it. Uh, yes ma'am, yes, ma it, 
walang connection wala itong connection sa institutionalization kaya ako nagtataka sa inyo wala naman tayong sinasabi na ilalagay natin sa ospital o ilalagay natin sa PWD institution magbibigay lang tayo ng pension kahit nakatira sila sa bahay Madam Chair can, can we clarify that is badly written what we are saying if we provide 2000 that will make our children people with disability independent at least and they will be out of the institution. We will we will encourage what? the institution. I don't the understand how this contra it contra. So in short, you are now saying, in fact, it doesn't contravene any UN convention, correct? Yes, yes, oh, yes, good. Madam Chair. Oh, you love. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, pasensya, Senator Revilla. Gutom na yata ako. Minit na ulo ka. Nalilito ako dito. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Sige. Okay. Ngayon, ang na-establish natin, support naman tayo dito, pero wala naman tayong database. Makulit ako sa database, Senator Revilla, at sa ating mga kamas kasamang senator. Kasi alam ninyo, ayaw natin na maulit yung stampede na nangyari dun sa student uh, stipend. Kapag walang listahan sa distribution, alam naman natin nagkakagulo. Yes, Senator Revilla, please. Senator Revilla. Madam Chair, uh, question lang, no? Uh, labing dalawang taon na Republic Act number no. 10070 na Tama. matakda na magkaroon ng dapat ng Persons with Disability Affairs Office o PIDAW. Pero sabi ng NCDA, halos 50% pa ng uh, 1,700 LGUs ay hindi tumatalima dito. At miski focal persons ay wala sila. Pero sa amin sa Bacor, meron kaming pidaw. Kaya naman, mas madali namin napapadali yung mga ayuda sa mga sa ating mga PWDs. So ano po, ano, upon, ano po nangyayari? Bakit ganito lamang ang compliance rate natin? We would like to answer that question. Uh, Madam Chair. Sir Hanayro, uh, padare. Uh, Sabi sa akin, Council. Meeting daw, Ma'am. Go ahead. Uh, Director Matt from NCDA, Madam Chair. Can you confirm? Uh, Mr. Senator, we, we have a data. Please turn on your uh, video, uh, Director, uh, Mr. Mateo. Uh, okay. uh, I'll just transfer for a while, uh, Madam Chair, uh, because I'm using. Yeah. So, namin makita yung ano para makilala ka naman namin. Okay. Uh, for a while, I will just be using the, the laptop of uh, the good executive director. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mr. Senator, we have already established the PIDAW and we are coordinating it now. Uh, we have a database from them already and uh, we will be coming up with the summit in September so that we will be able to organize the data collection process down the line at the community. So, so we are on that direction already, uh, Mr. Senator and uh, Madam Chair. Thank you. So what has been the effect of this slow implementation? Because I could only assume that uh, this has hampered the, the flow of services to you, no? Uh, basically, Mr. Senator, the, the slowdown will be uh, on, on the basis of identifying the exact number of uh, persons with disability at the community level. But uh, with the improvement of our strategy right now, uh, the leadership of uh, the, the new director, we will be fast, fast tracking the data system already at the PIDAW, or the Person with Disability Affairs offices, including the focal person in the fourth, fifth, and sixth class municipality. And that is what we are intending to do uh, within the next uh, months uh, of, of this year. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tenter. Okay, dito naman po sa... Uh, on children with uh, disability, based on the data of DepEd, there are a total of uh, 648 special education is SPED, no? I think uh, centers or regular schools offering uh, SPED programs as of uh, February 2017. Five years later, uh, have we established more SPED centers? Uh, these SPED centers are very important in uh, implementing uh, uh, inclusive education, especially uh, para sa mga kabataan po natin.
Paki-on po yung video, uh, audio. Naririnig niyo ba, uh, Madam Chair? Parang nawala siya. <laughs> oh, nawala okay, siya. you are muted. Clear, loud and clear. Pero tama yun. At saka, um, yes, correct. Um, are you able to uh, answer, please? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. We will be... Uh... Together with them at organizing a resource center with a passage of 11650 to speed up the resource center to be able to provide the multidisciplinary services to our SPED centers, uh, SPED classes in the different school level of uh, elementary and junior high. Uh, that's, that's our uh, focus uh, within the next few months, uh, Madam Chair and the Center. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, ma'am. Kaya mo na, alam kung kayang-kaya mo na to. <laughs> Ikaw talaga? Hindi, kasi nalilito ako doon sa sinabi ng NCDA. Samantalang nandito yung bata sa harap ko, eh liwaliwanag naman nung section 4, yung number 4, sa inyong powers and functions, ang liwanag that you have to establish and develop a data bank. Talagang hindi coordinate yung ang tama yung sinasabi ni uh, Senator Revilla na matagal na itong mandato sa inyo na mag-data bank kayo. It's not true that it's not true that this is the duty of uh, the uh, PSA or the LGU. It's very explicit in the law. Uh, yes, Madam Chair, it's part of... Uh... For your reference, number four, establish, develop, and maintain a data bank on disability in partnership with concerned government agencies and NGOs. Walang makasagot sa NCDA? Okay lang, kasi wala rin naman database. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, hello, Madam Chair. Opo, we, we are maintaining po in part... Hindi, in part kasi sinasabi ng NCDA ni Apoli, kanina yung Mateo Lee sabi, hindi naman ninyo mandato yung magde-database. Eh, nagulanta ako kasi ang alam ko nandun, nahanap ko nga, nasa number four, andyan, talagang uh, maliwanag na kayo ang dapat gagawa nito. So, hindi dapat tayo nagtuturoan sa DOH, kasalanan ng LGU, o kasalanan ng DSWD, kundi sa sariling uh, kasalanan, eh sa atin, hindi po ba? Uh, tama po kayo, Madam Chair. Uh, we, we said that uh, it is in the partnership and coordination po kasi yung aming function. Hindi so, siya coordination. Establish, develop, and maintain. Walang sinasabing coordinate. Pero ba, kasi po, di ba, in partnership with other government agencies or NGOs? Hindi, hindi. In partnership, pero ang main, ang main player kayo. Anyway, let's leave it at that. Please read your charter and realize that this is a primary function of your office. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. So, yan ang problema. Wala tayong uh, datos ng PWD. At uh, siguro at this point, ang pinakamatinding problema, kausapin rin natin ang DOF at ang DBM. Pagkat narito sila, uh, pati ang NEDA, alam natin ang pinakamatinding uh, problema dito ay yung pondo. Kasi uh, meron tayong sinasabing social pension, may 2,000 pesos a month, may estimated... Uh, na halos uh, 2 billion, yung isa naman 5.7 billion, pagkalaki-laki nitong mga amounts na to, uh, anong masasabi ng ating economic managers? So let's call on DOF first please. I think there is uh, Division Officer 3, uh, I don't recall the name, I'm sorry. May we hear from the DOF please? Uh, yes, good morning Madam Chair. Um, am I here, Pa? Uh, really you are quite muffled, but uh, we will try. Uh, I'm just going to. Okay. Um. Uh, na po ako, ma'am. 
Yes, uh, yes, please carry on. Uh -oh. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm Jean Ginto po. I'm the Chief Tax Specialist of the under for the Policy Research and the um, Office of the Department of Finance. Um, ma'am, for the concern po dun sa proposed bill po under SB 31 and 592 on the proposal po dun sa pagpaprovide po ng pensions and allowances, um, we will still submit po our official position to the proposed measure but uh, we would like to initially manifest for that uh, while we fully recognize the intention of the bills uh -huh. to address concerns, we have a reservation po on the, the the proposal because uh, we know that the proposed uh, pensions and allowance for would constrict uh, government flexibility to find priority spending much needed for economic uh, recovery. Um, yes. We believe po that a more comprehensive strategy is needed in advancing the socio-economic welfare what, of the poor. What do you say a more comprehensive strategy? Eh? Kapag more comprehensive, di mas mahal. Ikaw talaga, oh. Pinitanong uh, pa ninyo, eh. Baka kasi po mas, mas may, may iba pa pong strategy na pwede natin um, alamin muna to help our uh, PWDs. And Sabihin na lang natin, yung totoo, walang pera sa panahon ngayon. Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> Ayun, yun ang short answer. Siguro yung mga economic managers, natatawa na lang si Senator Padilla sa atin eh. Ayun, mga economic managers, oh, sige, yung NED at saka DBM, pareho rin yung tugtugin yan. Sure ako. Um, okay, ma'am, additionally, ma'am, no, we would like to add lang din po na uh, there are already existing laws naman po that grant uh, incentives and privileges such as yung Magna Carta of this for disabled person po, which provides uh, discounts on, on VAT exemptions on specific services on medical related privileges and also financial assistance to the serving disabled students among others. And under din po dun sa employees compensation commission benefits such as sickness, disability benefits, medical reimbursements, cash assistance, free physical and um, occupational therapy to PWDs in cities or even in the provinces. So may mga existing benefits naman po na nare-receive sila. Uh, under the uh, but the, under the employees compensation there's nothing special sa PWD diba regular lang yun eh ah uh, yes po but uh we they have already been um providing uh, disability benefits and medical reimbursements naman po and the cash cash yeah, disability benefits under that law confined to those incurred during uh, employment yes po under the employment po yeah, only during employment. Kung uh, PWD nag-apply, tapos na wala ng trabaho, walang special consideration, hindi po ba? Um, yes po. <laughs> Kaya nga eh. Oo, oh, parang pare Wala lang. Okay, thank you. Thank you uh, DBM and NEDA, parehong tugtugin. DBM po, uh -oh, we respect uh, the lack of fiscal space at this point, uh, and uh, despite the good intentions of our authors, the reality is there simply is no money. Uh, is that correct, DBM? Um, good morning, po, Madam. This is Perpetual Judea Kiason from DBM. Okay. Po. Thank you. Um, uh, as you have already mentioned, Ma'am, um, yun po yung um, uh, sa totoo po na um, ano ng ekana economy po natin um uh, ma'am may i just mention that the DBM has already submitted its position paper uh, uh sent through email po on August 26 on Senate bill number 31 yes um, but for um Senate bill 501 and 592 applicable din naman po yung um position paper ng DBM uh -huh. So, um, while we recognize po yung good intention po ng bill, uh, um, na-mention na din po ng um, kasamahan natin from DOF that the Magna Carta for Disabled Person as amended by RA 9442 and RA 10754 po already grants additional privileges and incentives to all PWDs. So, um, for... Um, under the FY 2022 GAA po, uh, DSWD allocated 9,487,000 for assistance to PWDs. And um, for NCDA naman po, 
Um, there's an amount... Yes, baka kaya yata sabihin yung 9 million natin. 9 million sa 12% ng ating populasyon. Di ba nakakahiyang banggitin? Papakaliit yata, 9, 9 million naman. Um, yun po ang na-approve po, Madam Chair. Um, in the... Yun na I know, I know. Pero kung ako sa yun, hindi ko na sinabi. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> joke lang. Sige, please finish. For ang um, NCDA naman po, mayroon pong 20 million 400,000 large um, in the 2022 budget for the improvement of the Philippine Registry for Persons with Disability po, uh, including the mirroring of the system po. So, um, considering po ng um, um, uh, it should be noted that in the absence of additional revenue measures to fund the proposed benefits, it would be very difficult for the national government to fund the same given the current tight fiscal position of the national government resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic starting in 2020. So, ang amin pong recommendation po is that uh, the proposed assistance is better integrated into current government programs to promote more universal social program that forces equity and inclusivity for all vulnerable groups, Madam Chair. Yes, I understand. Okay, but uh, I am simply saying uh, that uh, in upholding the principles of fairness and equity, if 12% uh, of the population is uh, somehow considered PWD, dapat 12% ng GAA na pupunta sa kanila, hindi po ba? In fact, the argument can be made, dapat doble o mas malaki ang ibibigay sa may kapansanan kasi masirap sila sa buhay at uh, kaunti lang ang mga pagkakataong ibinibigay sa kanila. In any case, uh, that is my sentiment. I understand the DBM simply has no fiscal space. Neda, please. Morning, Madam Chair. Uh, this is yeah. uh, OIC Assistant Director Edgardo Aranves from NEDA. Yes, yes. Um, we generally agree with the objectives of the bill, but uh, as mentioned earlier, yung given the fiscal space, uh, uh -huh. we have difficulty, we might have difficulty in sustaining the implementation. Uh, what we recommend, Madam Chair, is a more targeted approach in the interim. And if possible, what do you to... mean by a more targeted approach? Uh oh, I think I read it in your position uh, paper. Uh oh, so please carry on. We can ex explore, Siguro, ma'am, providing persons with disabilities maybe vouchers for very specific expenditure items rather than. Pero pareho rin yun eh. Pareho rin yun eh. It ends up uh, cash outlay pa rin. Ha? They have to buy assistive products, bibili ng wheelchair, di ba? Tapos yung personal care, pera pa rin yun, di ba? Tapos yung rehab, magbabayad pa rin ng therapy at PT, di ba? Ganun talaga yun eh. Yes, ma'am. Pero siguro... I don't maybe... understand what you mean by more targeted. Yung 2,000, konti nga lang makukover nun sa mga assistive. Nako, ang halaga na lang ng wheelchair at saka crutches, di ba? Tapos yung therapy, kaya mahal-mahal yung uh, pamasari pa. So I don't know what you mean by a more targeted approach because the... The uh, items that you listed are even uh, more expensive than the 2000 en uh, uh, envisioned. Maybe, ma'am, pwede i explore yung, ano, um, yung cl classification within the persons with disabilities para hindi lahat agad agad uh, one time, big time na mabibigyan. So, it's more than a priority. It's a big time, eh. 2,000 nga lang, eh. Uh, yes, ma'am. I agree. Pero yun nga, if we want to a more to have a more targeted approach, then we need to come up with a priority mechanism, siguro po. And yes, perhaps, perhaps you, can, you can define your more targeted approach because your listing really encompasses far more than 2,000 a month. And if you want to... Uh, slice the pie of PWD, uh, perhaps you can start, is what you're saying, you start with the senior PWD para i-integrate sa senior pension. Ganun ba yun? Yung ba sinasabi nyo? Or yung child PWD kasi they even have less opportunities in life and will need a lifetime of care and therapy. Is that what you're saying? 
Um, that can be an option, ma'am, that can be explored. Siguro pwedeng pag-usapan din with, together with DSWD and DOH para malaman kung alin sa mga cost items yung parang pinaka-hirap for, for persons with disabilities para lang at least meron tayong uh, mechanism na hindi magkakaroon ng uh, quote-unquote leakage or yung... Uh, uh, yung mabibigyan lang talaga yung talagang karapat dapat po na mas may pangangailangan relative to others po. And meron din kasi ma'am um, costing study na ginagawa po ang DSWD if I am not mistaken specifically for uh, expenditures uh, na nai-incur by persons with disabilities pwede din po yun maging basis kung ano yung kung, hindi ko lang po alam ma'am kung tapos Star, na yung study, study na yan. Yun? Uh, maybe ma'am, DSWD can um, help expound on that kasi hindi pa rin ako sure ma'am kung tapos na siya pero it's, pwede siyang maging basis or makatulong po sa pag-determine na kung ano yung mga disability related costs na pwedeng i-prioritize given na uh, yung fiscal space nga po, uh, gipit po tayo. Okay, thank you from NEDA, but uh, you, if you could uh, delineate these ideas a little more uh, carefully so that we have guidance from your agency. We're a little bit confused by uh, what you stated. Um, thank you. Uh, having referred to a study in DSWD, Director Aran West, let's uh, now call on DSWD. Anong comment ninyo? Paano natin isasagawa ito? Madam Chair, uh, as uh, Janet Anyone Ernest. Anyone from the SWD po? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Janet Ernest. by NEDA to a uh, research or study made by your office. Uh, uh, yes. Can you apprise us of the same? Uh, Madam Chair, this was a study conducted in partnership with UNICEF. And uh, they just presented the result of the study. And okay. we can discuss this with NEDA uh, if needed, uh, Madam Chair. You are not able to provide us at least the salient points or some highlights of said study? Uh, uh, Madam Chair, the study uh, includes the cost of care per disability among children, ma'am. And this was conducted uh, not only in the Philippines but also uh, in other countries. So uh, we will we will uh, be willing to pre provide a copy of the study that was given to us by uh, UNICEF, Madam Chair. Okay, uh, while we're on uh, the subject of DSWD and its operations, it has been uh, reported in the media that the four-piece uh, listing has been reduced significantly by over one million beneficiaries uh, given the long duration of the said project. Uh, kung babawasan yung four piece at palalakihin yung senior pension, hindi ba natin mabigyan at makover at least partially yung PWD? Palibasa, ilan lang naman na nakalista, 670,000 lang naman. Kakayanin ba? Kasi ang pagkaintindit ko, magka, higit sa isang milyon ang tinanggal sa four piece Pakatapos noon, uh, meron pa tayong uh, iba't ibang savings. So, anong po pwede? Pwede bang pagkunan yon kahit kapraso under coverage na nga ng 4Ps? Madam Chair, uh, per statement of our Secretary, uh, we're still validating the 1.3 that should be removed from the list. And uh, in his statement, uh, he's mentioned that uh, the PWDs can also be one of the priorities in the listing for them to be uh, covered by Pantawid. Uh, but, uh, oh, tapos, di, eh, di ba may bago tayong batas na lapsed in tuloy yung tungkol sa senior stipend? Uh, earlier, the DBN said that this uh, social protection effort should be integrated, no? So, yung senior stipend, hindi ba i-expand yan? Pwede bang uh, i-prioritize din dyan yung PWD? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, with the... New enhanced uh, social pension uh, law. Uh, oh. We will be expanding po, and uh, with a coverage of one hundred one thousand already, not already, not uh, five hundred. Uh, in the past, we've been giving them five hundred. This time, we will yes, be giving one thousand. Uh -oh. oh, po. Kaya nga, you're going to add the amount. Pero what I'm saying is, can uh, you put the priority then sa ating mga PWD na seniors? 
Yes, ma'am, that will be discussed with, uh, when we uh, prioritize the waitlisted uh, senior citizens, uh, Madam Chair. The DSWD, in conjunction with the DOH, similarly has uh, child uh, child uh, programs, early child uh, early, early childhood protection programs, nutrition programs, and so on. Are we able to prioritize PWD children as well? I know, for example, having been governor for a long period, that um, pediatric wheelchairs are in great demand but cannot be availed of. So, alimbawa, dun sa early childhood at yung iba't iba pang mga ginagawa ninyo, pwede bang i-prioritize din yung kabataang may kapansana? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we'll, um, and we have only, as mentioned earlier by DOF, we only have 9 million. And uh, this is uh, uh, the part to part. No, I'm not talking program. about the 9 million for PWDs. I'm talking about your child programs. Meron rin yes, kayong uh, supplemental feeding. Meron rin kayong early childhood uh, projects, okay. diba? Yes, the 9 million that DBM referred to was uh, directly to PWD. I'm talking about other projects uh, that you have where you where in the uh, PWD in that sector can be prioritized. Uh, yes, How Madam Chair. sector din kayo? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. In the feeding program and also in the uh, other projects that we have, uh, PWD children with per uh, persons with the uh, children with disability are also prioritized, Madam Chair. Yes, I don't see any priority. Eh, kasi wala naman nakasulat dun eh. As a matter of fact, yung mga PWD hindi nga nasasali eh. Dahil uh, hindi makapunta sa, hindi makalakad sa daycare, hindi makalakad sa kung saan, di ba? Maybe we should make an effort, um, as earlier stated by our economic managers and their representatives, to integrate uh, in the meantime that uh, we cannot afford to give them a stipend. Perhaps it is uh, time to look at all these other projects that uh, address other sectors, but could be targeted towards PWD. Pwede po ba yon sa DSWD? Uh, yes, ma'am, noted. Uh, we will include in the review of our policies uh, prioritizing the uh, persons with disability as recommended, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, if uh, there are any comments, is there anyone with uh, any further ideas? Uh, all, the, all ideas about fund sourcing at this point are highly welcome. So, uh, Committee Secretary, if uh, there, Hi, is there anyone who uh, would like to add a comment? Meron pong data na binibigay si President Jennifer V. Garcia of the Regional Association of Women. Hi, okay, okay. Oh, kanina we recognized her. Yes, Ms. Jennifer Garcia, would you like to uh, comment? Um, yes, Madam Chair. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, you're very, you're coming in loud and clear. Uh, you're recognized and may speak. Okay, thank you and good morning, everyone. Uh, first, I would like to uh, thank uh, for including our organization. I just would like to share with you po yung data then ng female disabilities composed of... Yes, uh, I, I'm hearing a lot of static in the background. Uh, Makikisuyo natin yung mga, yung mga microphone ninyo kung hindi kayo nagsasalita. Okay, thank you. Yes, please proceed, Mr. Garcia. Yes, um, actually, uh, Madam Chair, uh, the statistics that I have right now comes from the uh, the DOH and the DSWD. So for now, po, ang data po ng uh, mga female with disability, ay, uh, from the DOH, po, we have uh, we have uh, uh, Ang PWD po, ang total po niya ay 710,018 and ang female with disabilities po doon ay 329,846. From the DSWD naman po na data, ang uh, poor 
female with disabilities ay 143,403. So, I... You have, no, you have no idea kung nag-overlap to o hindi? Um, I have no idea, Madam Chair, but uh, I just got this data from the two agencies and uh, uh, our concern here is hindi lang po ito numero kundi ito po ay mga buhay po no so itong mga bill po na ipinapasa po ng ating mga minamahal na mga senator po ay uh, para sa amin po na sektor ay makakatulong po talaga ito sa mga persons with disabilities considering po na iba't iba po talaga sanga-sanga yung pangangailangan at challenges ng mga taong may kapansanan dito sa ating bansa so mahalaga mahalaga po ito sa amin at uh, tinatanong po namin ito talaga na malaking pag-asa po para sa amin para po mas maging meaningful at uh, maging independent din po yung aming pamumuhay sa komunidad. So yun lamang po. Lalo na ang kababaihan kasi nanay ng tahanan eh mas lalong maraming umaasa sa kanya. Oo po. Totoo po. Totoo po yun Madam Chair. Maraming maraming salamat. Samantalang hindi naman niya mapangalagaan ang sarili niya. Apakahirap <laughs> po. Oo Madam Chair. Maraming salamat. Okay. Lampas na National Heroes Day, eh, tuloy pa rin ang kabayanihan ng ating mga nanay na PWD. Okay, so uh, Beth, uh, kung nakapagsalita na ang iba't ibang sektor at wala nang maidadagdag uh, na tanong o sana idea para sa sourcing ng pondo, ako yung magtatatag na lamang ng uh, technical working group na sana pangunahan ng DSWD, please, even a volunteer ko na po kayo, lalo na yung budget officer ninyo, para magawa natin ng paraan na uh, maliwanag ang sinasabi ng atin na uh, uh, mga economic departments na loud and clear, wala tayong pagkukunan, walang paghuhubutan ng bagong pondo. So we have to live within our means, whether sa DSWD yan, at sana may DOH. Wala ba tayong DOH na kinatawan dito? Yes, Comsec Beth, wala tayong DOH. Wala ano? po tayong kinatawan, Senator. Okay, so kung maaari yung DOH na representative, DepEd na representative, pati yung DOLE na representative, uh, at uh, yung DSWD, uh, kung maaari, sumapi sila sa ating itatatag na TWG para makita kung ano yung mga programang existing na nila, kung saan uh, mabibigyan ng prioridad at uh, pagtuunan naman ng pansin ang mga Pilipinong may kapansanan. At ikalawa, yes Beth, hello, oo, yung mga programa na pwedeng gamitin para tutukan itong problemang ito, ano, at ikalawa, yung non-financial assistance. Ang ibig ko sabihin, yung mga ospital, yung iba dyan, kahit hindi covered ng PhilHealth, alam ko napakabigat ng gasto sa therapy, no? So, siguro yung mga ospital natin at yung DOH, anong maibibigay nilang tulong? Sinabi nga may discount sa Magna Carta, hindi ba pwedeng ilibre na lang ng todo at pagkahirap-hirap naman? kung government hospital na rin lang. Pag-aralan po natin sa TWG yan. Beth? Yes, Beth? Uh, Comsec, please pay attention. Yes po, Senator. Hindi ko pa na-unmute. Senator, okay. copy po. Uh, alam, alam ko lahat tayo sabay-sabay na ginugutom. Okay lang, please, please, konti. Anyway, so, may nag-suggest po kasi na ano, dapat oo. daw isama din daw ang DICT. Ah, okay. Bakit? Uh, although ako ay... Okay lang. Hindi, ang akin, ang akin kasi... Isama daw ang DICT. Hindi, okay naman. Ang akin kasi, umpisaan natin by asking them first, no? They don't actually have to join the TWG, but uh, I think those that have significant portions of their budget dedicated to the PWD uh, could be relevant. So these are, for example, DSWD, DOH, and, uh, and DepEd. Yung tatlong yun, klaro na may mga for children, meron silang kung ano-ano pang uh, mga budget. May 20 million rin ang NCDA, karapat-dapat lamang na nandyan sila. 
Tapos yung malalaking uh, PWD NGO, kung pwede mag-volunteer, higit sa lahat si Jennifer Garcia na narito sumapi na sa ating ngayon. So, kung pwede yon Ngunit, hindi ko sinasabi na hindi natin kakatukan ang DA. Malaki ang budget ng DA. Katukin natin, baka naman sila pwedeng tumulong din at bigyan ng priority ang mga women in agriculture, in processing, and so on. Uh, DICT, syempre, kasi yung remote, very relevant naman yan para sa ating PWD at hirap na hirap na sila kapag hindi remote ang uh, working conditions. Yung DOLE, kailangan bulabugin din natin yan kasi alam natin may unfair uh, labor practices, meron rin discrimination at the workplace. So, um, kung may maisip pa tayo, uh, at least tulungan natin ang PWD. At higit sa lahat, over and above, I would like to hear from NCDA. You are not yet off the hook. Mandyan pa kaya kayo? Ang NCDA, nariyan pa? Yes, uh, Madam, ma Madam Chairman po. Yes, ma Asan kayo? Nandito pa po yung Executive Director nila. Okay, Executive Director, please, you're not off the hook. As stated earlier, the data bank is squarely in your mandate in number four. So please, the database is your responsibility. Thank you, Madam Chairman. No, do not say thank you. When can you provide me a database? Kasi kung ganito, yung 20.4 million na budget na sinasabi ng DBM, baka lipatin na lang namin sa ibang ahensya tulad ng DOH, DSWD at yung mga LGU at PSA. Tatanggalin na namin yung budget ninyo, nananakot na ako kasi nakakapikon na yung 12 years na walang nangyayari. Tapos, uh, dinideny pa ninyo na may responsibilidad kayo sa ating mga may kapansana na ilista man lamang sila. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, we will give you the updated data po uh, by before December po. Before updated data po. No. Before December, magkakaroon na ako ng uh, database of something? O oh, paano? Yes, yes. Kukunin lang yes, yes. ninyo yung yes. DOH lang. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, yung pong updated, yung pong updated uh, database po. Eh, pero kung kaya sa DOH, hihingin ko na lang sa DOH. No, Madam po. Uh, from, directly po, from PIDAW po. From PIDAW, uh, LGU po. From LGU eh, sabi po. mo, less than 50% are uh, sending you their data. Uh, uh, just recently po, uh, we, we are giving out po computers po para ma-update po nila yung kanilang uh, data. So, Kailangan ng uh, computer uh, para lang dyan? Opo, ma'am. Uh, yun po ako ng request, ma'am. Para nakapagtataka, pero uh, kasi ang dami-daming uh, papelada sa LGU, wala silang uh, computer. Ba't ba kayong bumili ng computer? Baka tayo mapunta sa DepEd niyan, bili ng bili ng computer na kung ano. Uh, yun po, ma'am, they, they are writing us letters po, uh, requesting po for computers para po ma, ma, ma gamit exclusively for the uploading po of data from their end to the... Why does it have to be exclusive? Uh, kasi po, yung kanilang so, pong... Ang pangalan yan ang data, very, very small memory required, kaya nila yan sa existing computers nila. Maniwala kayo, tagal-tagal kong LGU. Opo, uh, ang they are telling us po na marami pong gamit yung kanilang computers, not, not, not only po for, for data gathering. So they are yeah. requested po for exclusive uh, computers. Uh, I doubt that that's the most important thing to the life of our LG, to the life of our PWDs during these difficult times. Yes, Miss Jennifer Garcia, please. Madam Chair, it's also important to consider the situation at the grassroots, yung in internet po, kasi yun po talaga yung problema ng ibang mga local government units, yung internet yes. connection. So I think that the ICT also could, you know, do a, a very important and vital role in this uh, endeavor. Thank you, Madam. 
Alam din nyo, nung tataka ako, bakit ginagawang dahilan lahat yan? Samantalang pag mag-re-request ng kung ano-ano sa DA, DepEd, at iba pang malalaking ahensya, wala namang problema magpadala. Ihahatid pa yan sa regional office. Kakatokin pa yung national office. Guguluhin pa rin kami sa Senado kasama ng sangkatutak na folder. Bakit ka pa ang PWD ang pinag-asapan? Walang computer, walang wifi, walang signal ang Miski Mobile. Huwag naman ganun. Pag gumihingi ng tulong, ang dali-dali mag-aabot ng uh, information. Pag yung PWD, lahat hindi pwede. Kawawa naman. Sobra naman pang aapi yan. Hindi na ako naniniwala. So please, NCDA, yan ang tanging problema ninyo at mandato ninyo. Please perform. Utang na loob. 12 years na. Galit na sa Senate Revilla. Okay. Uh, December, ah, nangako ka, you're on record. Yes, Madam Chair. Okay, so Beth, at uh, the earliest juncture, let us try to derive financial, existing financial programs that can address the plight of the PWD at the same time. Uh, also, be creative and innovative in providing not necessarily cash outlay uh, uh, requiring uh, assistance to our PWDs, such as uh, free therapy at government hospitals, um, cooperation and training at the LGU level, maski yung uh, DTI, pwede dyan, yung MSMEs push natin, uh, pwede rin i-prioritize. So we can cover as many government agencies and uh, make sure that the Magna Carta for PWDs are actually uh, instituted and implemented as well as the employees' compensation laws. Okay? Um, if there are no further comments, I will suspend uh, the committee hearing and uh, move on to a uh, TWG to draft a uh, uh, an affordable version of these three bills. Po, Senator. Copy po. Okay, salamat. At uh, maraming salamat sa lahat ng pumunta sa umagang to. Inabot na kayo ng lunchtime. Kaya uh, maraming salamat sa tiyaga at uh, uh, paninindigan ninyo na makatulong sa ating mga kababayan. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you po sa lahat ng lumalo.